Hey everybody, Max Ada here with Team Juggernaut Weightlifting and I am gonna show you a four favorite tips for improving your front squat. So the first one is gonna be about bracing and breathing before you even pick the bar up out of the rack. Uh, it's super important that when we get under the bar to do a front squat, you know, that's the only chance we have to actually secure a solid foundation for the bar to sit on. So we like to do what we call circumferential breathing where you know, Janice is gonna be wearing a belt, she's gonna breathe in deep and drive out all the way around her belt. She's trying to breathe, you know, brace 360 degrees around her stomach so that she creates a really strong base for that bar to sit on. Uh, the old Coke can analogy where if your can is you know, completely intact, it's very hard to crush uh, versus it being dented on one side, it'll smush easily. Uh, you know, we wanna make sure we're bracing very, very good before we even pick the bar up because we only have one chance to get stable under the bar. The second uh, tip here is getting a really good front rack position. So when Janice sets up, you know, for us weightlifters, we wanna make sure we're mimicking the clean position of, you know, as best we can. So getting a full grip on the bar is really great if you can, but obviously some, you know, if you have to pull a couple fingers off, that's all right. But the biggest thing here is that when she sets up under the bar, she's gonna try and push that bar deep back onto the back of her shoulder. So we wanna be able to see the front delt in front of the bar. We don't want it to be rolled forward where it's you know, kind of low on the chest here. We want that bar sitting back behind the front delt, elbows stay high, she's breathed, she's braced really firm, takes a huge breath, everything is bearing down, then she picks the bar up. Okay, we don't wanna try and gather a bunch of air and tightness after we've gotten the bar up. We don't wanna fiddle with our grip. We want everything to be dialed in before the bar even comes out of the rack. The third tip I have is about setting the proper foot position. Okay, so when she picks the bar up, she's got a huge brace, she's in a great spot, awesome front rack, that bar sitting on her shoulders down, uh, the pressure is being pushed down right onto her belt. She's gonna step back, take a really solid position. She's gonna get her feet right where she wants them, just under her shoulders. And from here, we wanna focus on having three points of contact in each foot. She's gonna have the big toe down, the little toe down, and the heel down. She's gonna have even pressure across her whole foot, so she's set up in a great spot to start moving. Keeping your pressure on your foot here is super important in the front squat. We don't wanna sit back onto our heels because that's gonna just instantly tip our chest forward and cause us to drop the bar in front. And we don't wanna let our knees or our, our weight come too far forward because it's gonna take a lot of pressure off of our legs. Uh, and it's gonna basically be like all calves trying to stand up at that point. Descending properly and maintaining the position of your body, maintaining pressure on your legs. So Janice is gonna get set, got a great brace, perfect front squat, uh, front rack. She steps back, she finds the positioning of her feet. She's perfectly balanced hips directly over the heels. She's gonna break at the knee and keep pressure on her quads as she sits down. At the very bottom of the squat, she's gonna return by keeping her knee in position right out of the hole. We don't wanna let our hips kick back out of the bottom of the front squat because as soon as that knee travels backward a little bit, we're gonna start losing leverage. We're gonna start you know, fighting an uphill battle trying to, to gain that position back. So two keys, we definitely wanna focus on descending in the midfoot letting the knees break first. And then finally, that's gonna give us a, that's gonna put us in a position to keep the pressure on the quads throughout the whole movement. If you guys like this video, go ahead and check out the link below to our snatch manual or any of our online coaching offerings. And don't forget to like and subscribe.